EPRA st started doing a sustainability summit, I think three, maybe four years ago, to an audience of probably 30 or 40 people, and it was an afternoon. So today to be here with over 200 people registered for this event, it's a full day event, and we have an incredible mix of people who've turned up. It says a lot about the organisation, but it also says a lot about the way in which sustainability has really sort of raced up the agenda and become very, very significant for so many businesses who are involved in real estate. Just one year ago, when I was discussing the sustainability initiatives that we have taken within the company, uh, a colleague in the real estate industry said, oh, those things only cost. And that's not true. So there is a need for discussions to learn from those who have actually worked with sustainability for many, many years, and what has worked out well and what has not worked out well, and so on. No single organisation, no single individual is going to make a significant difference on their own. You know? We're all going to make small differences. If you compound and aggregate those, we're going to make very significant differences. So gatherings, whether they be on a sector basis or a cross-sector basis, whether they be citizens, public sector, private sector, are critical, I think, to aggregating the voice and the message. That's one. I think the second thing is insights. So there's some phenomenal initiatives going on, and it's those sort of best practice which will help other people understand just how to do this and it can be pragmatic, it can be put into practice and it can reap real results. We strongly believe that if we have a diversity within our company, as a group we will make better decisions and if we do that over time then we will be more profitable. In my view climate change is a real strategic issue also for the built environment and the real estate sector. And it's great to see so many companies engaging with climate change, but I think far too often it's still being put into the environmental bracket, so it's sort of related to how much do you recycle, how much do you reduce your own carbon footprint, which is no doubt very important. But it is, for the whole sector, a real strategic question. And I think one point that really sort of highlights that is how we actually deal with creating new risks. And you know, it matters where and how we build um, because that will be impacted by climate change. I think it's incredibly important for the people who are in the industry to get together and kind of have that sense of um, support and, and solidarity around the issues that they're facing. I think it's also important to, um, for people who might be in other parts of the business who can be introduced into this, the ideas of sustainability. So I think, it, yeah, I think it's incredibly important. It's really, really good to be here, actually.